So if you're currently learning about engines, you may be seeing the term interference and non-interference engine and be wondering yourself, what is this and what does this refer to? So the main difference is in a non-interference engine, that's usually an older engine. Um, that means, so in the combustion chamber, you'll have your piston going up and compressing the fuel air gas mixture to get it as small as possible and then the spark will hit it. In a non-interference engine, there will actually be a gap between the bottom of the piston and the valve going down to that releases the air into the combustion chamber. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap. So it's a non-interference. Vehicles, most modern vehicles now are going to be interference engines where they compress it even more. So there's actually gonna be no gap at all. Therefore, the more it gets compressed, the better gas mods you're gonna get. So that's why pretty much all vehicles today are going to be interference engines. The bad part about that is if you ever have an issue, if something goes wrong with the sensors or the piston happens to go up at the wrong time and it hits that valve, it will pretty much destroy the valve and sometimes actually just destroy the whole engine. So it's kind of a give and take right now because you get better gas mods because it's more compressed, therefore you get more bang for your buck with the gas. But at the same time, if you happen to have an issue with it, it's gonna cause more damage in the long run. So for right now, everybody's trying to get better gas mods, so they're going more to the interference engines.